Alright, this is going to be a pretty long video with tons of information on how to increase your confidence. The whole thing is going to be centered around the idea of changing yourself. Now I know there's lots of people that are going to comment about why you shouldn't change yourself, but let me explain. If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always gotten. If you want more in life, you're going to have to change, you're going to have to grow. And in relationship to this video, when changing, we are always going to grow, that is in a positive manner. So the first tip I'm going to give is to be more self-aware. You have to own up to your weaknesses and be self-aware of what your insecurities are to become more confident. If your self-esteem is pretty low, it's most likely because you have a ton of insecurities and you don't value yourself. I know it's hard. And it's a decision you're going to have to make on your own, but to be more confident, you'll have to own up to all of the parts of you that suck. Here are some examples. For me, I get really jealous in a relationship. Even just seeing my girlfriend talk to some other guys gets to me. I know that's wrong. Another insecurity is my hairline. Oh my goodness, I have a horrible hairline. That sucker mixed with a weird cowlick that I have just like condemns me to long hair. I just have to wear long hair, otherwise I look weird. Which is going to be interesting when I start balding, I don't even want to think about it. Anyways, the idea is to own up to your insecurities and figure out if you can change them. I can't really change my hairline, but I can change my jealousy and I can work on it. Now it might take years and it's a huge mindset change, but I'm working on it and it's that easy. See how I can actually joke about my terrible hairline? It's because I owned up to it. It's not a part of me I can control. So I don't see it as something that I identify with. I'm more confident because I know my weaknesses and I'm working on them. It's difficult at first, but when you own up to your own insecurities and you claim them, it becomes easier to care less about what others think of you. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Instead, compare yourself to previous versions of yourself. That's actual, accurate data to work with. So, change the understanding of yourself. The next tip is to change your thinking. To be more confident, you're definitely going to have to change your thinking. Now there is a fine line between thinking confidently and thinking arrogantly. If you think arrogantly, you're going to become a scummy person and fall into the pitfalls and failures of an egotistical person described in Ego is the Enemy. Your goal should be to think positively, specifically of yourself. I don't care how many negative traits you have or claim. If you want to be more confident, you're going to have to overlook those and stop focusing on them. There's this huge big law in personal development called the Law of Attraction, which means the more you focus on something, the more it will manifest itself in your life. Focus on your weaknesses, and they'll become worse. Focus on your strengths, and they'll grow. Just like the author of The Magic of Thinking Big says, if you focus on something, even if it's insanely out there, like owning a Lamborghini by the end of the year, if you truly focus on it, your brain will start to find ways to make it happen. It will start focusing on the possibility and the steps you need to take to complete the goal. Your mind is the most powerful tool you have, so put it to use and start focusing on the positive in your life, and through perception, the negative will start to fade away. Now there are times like drug addiction and other serious life problems where you shouldn't just sweep that under the rug. But when someone says something rude to you or even something like your car doesn't start, ignore the negative and look at the positive. It's a little bit like stoicism. Now you get to search for a new ride to work and maybe even meet a future best friend or business partner. Another way to be more confident is to forgive yourself of anything you've ever held on to. This might only apply to one person watching this video, but if it helps them grow out of that dark place they're in, it's worth my time to talk about it. Now it's not your fault, and if it is, dwelling over it isn't going to get you anywhere. Become a better person and grow from it. Even if it's just one step to forgive yourself, it's a step in the right direction. There are a couple of things in my life I've had to forgive myself of. One took a really hard toll on me because particularly I hurt a lot of people in my life. I might talk about this in future videos, but I forgave myself from it, and look how many people I'm helping now. Moving on, let's talk about cognitive dissonance. So some famous psychologist said that if we reduce cognitive dissonance in our lives, we become healthier individuals, and in turn, become more authentic and confident. First, cognitive dissonance is when the things that you feel, think, and say are different from the actions that you actually take. For example, if I think someone shouldn't be doing something, but I don't say anything because they are a person or power of authority, I am creating cognitive dissonance in my mind. Another example is the mental stress shown when a person is driving a car that's bad for the environment, but they would agree that they were an environmentally friendly person. Cognitive dissonance can happen even without you knowing, and becoming more self-aware and knowing the full outcomes of your decisions will help you in this area. Although cognitive dissonance is still technically a theory, reducing conflicting beliefs is the basic idea of this tip. 
Everyone in their voice has a head that critiques their actions. In fact, some people have intrusive thoughts that tell them to jump off that cliff or throw that baby that they're holding. There was a really weird Reddit thread I read about that is pretty cool. Some even have thoughts to kill elderly people, or even the thought of how easy it would be when they're around older people to kill them. This doesn't pertain to the video really, but it's called intrusive thoughts, and it is something we all have. I found it interesting, weird, but didn't want to make a whole video on it. Anyways, back to the inner critic. When you do things, you have to stop your inner critic from talking. Uh, you're doing that wrong. She will think you're so weird. <clears throat> your extremist father would not want you to do this. These type of thoughts limit us and are dangerous to our self-worth. Usually these inner thoughts are about what other people think and they should be dismissed, so don't let them creep in. To become a more confident person, you have to think more clearly without the second belittling voice chirp in its two cents. Another tip is to groom, dress, and look nice. So how you look affects your own confidence. If you feel like you're walking around in bagging clothes that put down your name, you will feel it, you will think it, and it will come out in your actions. However, some people, including me, have noticed that just by wearing more preppy clothes or a suit and tie, your actions, your thoughts, they will actually change. Another tip is to set small goals and achieve them. For me, this is one of the biggest things that got me into the initial confidence that I needed to get out of a really depressed spot in my life. I started running. Actually, I started walking. I would walk around the block just once, and then when it came time to the second week to do it, I walked around the block twice, and this was a huge accomplishment that really helped me. The idea here is to set goals, achievable goals, and to make sure you're always challenging yourself and hitting what your challenges are. I hit 1,000 subscribers, then 10,000 subscribers, then 100,000 subscribers, and my confidence just blew up. I'm super comfortable talking to you guys now. Be careful with this though. As stated in my Ego is the Enemy book review, this can turn into arrogance, and you'll be blind to where you can improve. Take the confidence and use it to better yourself. Start by setting small goals and achieving them. Now something else that I really like to talk about is to hang around more confident people. This is just common sense and works for anything in life. If you want to be a better accountant, hang around other great accountants. If you want to be a great COD player, spend time around other COD players. Find people who have already achieved the goals that you want to achieve and spend some time around them. It's like a shortcut. It's not a cheat code because everyone has this opportunity. You just have to put in the work, the hours, and the effort to spend your time around people that you want to be like. Remember the saying, you're the average sum of the five people you spend most of your time around in your life? Well, it's true. If you want to be more confident, start spending more time around more confident people. Also, learn to appreciate everything in the world, including yourself. Sometimes it takes falling in love for you to realize that someone can see that there's great things about you. There are so many amazing things in this world, on this planet, and in your circle of influence that you can be appreciative about, so don't take them for granted. I hope some of my videos help you with that. I hope some of my videos show you that there are some great things out there in this world, and inspire you. Now, a short-term method to increase temporary confidence is to change your body language. In fact, body language is one of the only things that you can fake until you make. Your physiological posture will change the hormones in your blood and brain and make you feel more confident. Walk like you're going somewhere. Tilt your chin up just enough that you're more confident, but not arrogant. Smiling helps a lot since positivity is related to self-esteem. Pull your shoulders back if you're sitting. Keep your legs pointed towards people. Put your hands together in a Sherlock Holmes fashion so that only your fingertips are touching. I like to do this one. When talking, look people in the eyes. These tips help most people feel more confident within a couple of seconds, so they might work for you. Another short-term change is to change the way you look. Although this can delve into long-term, some people get a sense of security and confidence from fitting in, which contradicts our first tip, but does work for some people. Wearing popular clothes, the newest sunglasses, and even wearing a great cologne fragrance can help increase your temporary confidence. While making more long-term changes to your body through weightlifting, exercising, and diet can also impact your self-esteem levels. This is where being self-aware comes in play. You have to know which style and what you need to do to be more confident and what will be easier for you. One last short-term change to increase confidence is to listen to hyped up music. I like to listen to Jayzak. I hope you guys enjoy this video and learn something and if you want to repay me or this channel in the slightest, just leave a big fat like below, it'll help me know which type of videos to make more of, and watch the other videos on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching, and much love.